Burns the troll with strength of stone Cave and mud his ancient home Blending ages milk and honey Folk with brass the mud men's irony All the tales of night and day Grit and magic steel and clay Got hidden swords Riddles be praise Our gods pats in a wild erase It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul to fix their audio and also had some internet troubles during this first minute so i'm here to tell you what happened so uh a little uh intro with the grim claw uh conflict stuff and then after that a uh, little bit of housekeeping uh slink skulk uh and all that other good stuff with the blood fangs and, and ingratiating to Billsby and all the all the other good stuff in the previous episode. Go check that out if you really did it. Okay, and uh, yep, there went the internet. And now we're back. Okay, and then it was uh, Biddlesby and Arg uh, having like a little uh, interaction moment where Biddlesby thought something was for food for him, but in reality it was research. And now uh, Biddlesby and uh, Arg are discussing uh, the corpse of the Grimclaw, that, and it's different. You're not exactly sure what makes it different. <laughs> so it made the goblin who... The, the goblin in question was dumber than the average goblin. It was considerably but the, dumber, but big and strong. But also smarter than the average troll. I, they, that's that's debatable. Mm. Arg is going to roll an occultism check on the runes that he has uh, access to to see if he can figure out what's up with them. Okay. That is a ten flat. And flat, okay. Um, so you get the sense that these runes aren't like they weren't crafted into the skin, like they weren't you know scarred or anything. That it seems like some form of magic has like you can see like the corrupted uh, nature of the magic like on the skin, and that's what gives the runes. Mm, then he's going to he's going to discourage her from eating it. Okay. Is Arg gonna eat the corpse? No, no, that's okay. that's okay. awful. <laughs> that's 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 garbage. He'll render it. He'll okay. use it for alchemy ingredients. Oh, okay. Give me an <laughs> alchemy check instead, then. And, oh, man, I am rolling good tonight. That is a nat 20. Thank you. All right. You render the body down. Um, what remains of the blood, you're able to collect that. You're able to get all the different, you know, things that you would uh, squeeze out of a body 
in order to have region reagents. Excellent, excellent. Is the heart in good shape? The heart is in really good shape. Perfect. But let me uh, make an influence check on the female troll that you are trying to teach alchemy to. All right, dearie. I actually have a one in my charisma, so not negative. <laughs> uh, that's a dirty 18. I'm rolling really good tonight. All right. Yeah. She seems to be picking up alchemy. Okay. Um... And of course, I will start by teaching her the three most important things of alchemy. Do not pour acid on your skin. Do not inhale the fumes. And how to make a dirty bomb. Okay. The, the three pillars of alchemy. <laughs> Every single uh, alchemist needs to know how to create an acid bomb. Just, I mean, really. You yep. can claim to know alchemy without knowing that. I, I agree completely with this. You you begin teaching her the ways as she picks up on you rendering the goblin down. Biddlesby, you are in the area as um yeah, the female troll, relatively easy to find. Um and then you kinda see them go off and start working on stuff and you're like you, you see Arg teaching a female troll how to start with alchemy. This is going to be a problem later, but future Bittlesby can handle that, and I go to find Gaiden. <laughs> All right. As you're walking away, you hear echoing through the tunnels. Now remember, first rule of acid bomb is spread. It has many targets as possible. The stronger the acid, the better. Oh... Uh... That is a problem for future Biddlesby. <laughs> that is a problem for future Biddlesby. Alright, so you head to the surface. You uh, go to the workshop where you saw, uh, where you last saw Gaiden working. You need any uh, assistance? Gaiden? A beep beep? Is he not in the workshop? It appears as though you make it there and he's not at the workshop. Hmm. I... turn around and I look up Towards his perch. I'm I'm not seeing him up there either. Um, you may have to be doing some further investigations while hmm. we uh, try to find Gaiden. I see that he's not in the two locations that typically I would see him. I turn and I begin walking towards I'm curious I'm gonna go towards the war tusks okay you're able to see like yeah different yeah you can see war tusks all the all over the place are you looking for just a war tusk or are you looking for um Karu I'm looking for Karu okay it doesn't take you a long time to find him. He's relatively easy to find. All right. Um, against Args, like, <coughs> he don't trust... Ah, there's Gaiden. Yes, I had to step for a second. Um, while, and while I'm here, uh, DM... Uh, 18 for crafting more head, more headsets. Oh yeah, yeah. You definitely are working on that. Um, go ahead and make me a uh, investigation while you're also here. 
Okay. Do I just, like, run into Gaiden? <laughs> I, I, we're we're going to find out. Cause of, are you going to be here for a minute, Gaiden, or are you going to be uh, in and out? Seconds. And then out, I think. Okay. Okay. For at least 15 minutes. Okay, well then, uh, the investigation is... Because Biddlesby asked you to, you know, go look for a replacement for Slink Skulk. Oh, I should be good at that. Yeah. So, oh. like, that's... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> immediately not good. Funny. Oh, oh yeah. You you begin like putting a roster together as you're like looking for a solid replacement. <laughs> so I'm gonna say that's what your Biddlesby doesn't doesn't find you initially because you're like you're you're around looking, talking. I wrote you know. this down <laughs> <laughs> instead of trying to do it without paper. Much faster. Yes. <laughs> so you're just like all over the place, like talking to people, getting uh, the feels for people's skills. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll say you find uh, like five suitable replacements for Slink Skulk. Nice. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so as you're going to the camp, uh, Biddlesby, and you're looking for Kud Karu. Uh, that you don't see right. Gaiden anywhere. Mm. He's off doing Gaiden things at the moment. Understood. Then yeah, I go to Karu. Yep, you, you find Karu. He's, you know, in and amongst his war tusks. Excuse me, mighty war chief. Ah, Biddlesby, what can I do for you this morning? Walk with me. Let us talk. Ah. Okay. Uh, the tent, or are we walking and talking? We're walking and talking. Let's go observe our battlements. I need your expertise on how to fortify. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. I can, I can help with this. I can, I can advise you in these things. And he puts his hands behind his back and, like... Walks alongside you. Nice. I begin, like, asking him, you know, genuine questions about how we could shore up our defenses better. What materials here in the caves have him and his tribes used before and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and he gives you, he gives you like a breakdown of like, you know, getting proper like order, or if we could, if you guys could get like some mages who were more skilled with earth magics and stuff like that to like be able to solidify everything. Would it? He's like a team, a team of dwarves wouldn't be too bad for this job either. I was about to say, would it behoove us to make contact with the? with a gaggle of dwarves. <laughs> well, that would be more akin to the, the man with the purse. The man with the purse? And, well, dwarves require money for most of their ventures. But you could probably get a team for a decent a decent chunk of change to work on you know Shoring up Not. the walls, making sure you have proper stonework and such. Hmm. A collective of dwarves is known as a knot. A N O T. <laughs> a knot of well, dwarves. A knot, a knot of dwarves. <laughs> but, uh, I think yeah, Biddlesby uh, would have purposefully said the wrong thing. <laughs> a knot of dwarves. Yeah, but Kuda, Kudra go. A knot of dwarves would, would get you. I mean, if you can procure the funds for it, it would uh, not go amiss. Hmm. Especially if this is going to be a... Uh... He, he gives you the look and goes, a base camp of sorts. I look at... Or... He goes, or a fortified um, operating base. 
I look at him and I say, you know, I wasn't told to recruit all of you goblins. I would think not. I think it's such a waste of your lives to be sent on such a kill order. I see no merit in it. I look at him. Are you talking about you committing a kill order or us going to join the horde? I'm saying that my orders were to stop a certain amount of you from getting to the Horde. This has been accomplished. Most effectively. And not in the way I believe my superiors intended. Huh? I don't think they planned for us to be this numerable. He he turns and looks out looks out away from the camp across the, the expanse where the battle took place from the walls and he goes Would that be a fortuitous change of events or a disappointing turn of events? Fortuitous, my friend. I say that in goblin. He, uh, he remains quiet for a moment, like a little bit longer than than's comfortable. Mm -hmm. And he goes, fortuitous for you, I can agree with, but what about your superiors? He goes, how do you think Thorne feels about this change of events? I've always questioned why he picked me to head a goblin quest, a mission. So I understand. I, I spent some time out there in fringes with your people. Did you learn anything? I learned a lot from your people. More than I think Thorn realizes. And I give him that look that like a goblin who's about to like take out the big boss and make a play. <laughs> yep, he he remains not looking at you and instead still looking out across the, the battle like the the former battlefield. And he goes, well, it would behoove you to understand the politics of what your superiors are after. Uh, I'm sure he probably didn't even think that you were going to survive with the troll. I get that it feeling as well. But having the troll be even more cooperative, and then beyond just that, also just the amount of goblins you were able to uh, morale here, a certain level of loyalty that's been able to be procured, the fact that you've gotten these goblins to start working on fortifications and cooperative ventures, even your even your second there, Gaiden, working on those. Um, 
those things he's working on speaks to a certain level of free-spirited venture that's if a commander was not directly benefiting from would be viewed as a threat perhaps it should be viewed as such why i think biddlesby that you are talking about treason Still looking out across the uh, the field. Maybe not to the whole of the Legion. But at least to those who would so flippantly throw away the lives of fellow people. How noble of your of your ah, morality and sense of duty to all the fey folk I think that was probably the biggest lesson I learned out there in the fringes and th that is a valuable lesson Deep in these no. tunnels where the mud men driven us, we're all one people. Yep, I do have to agree with that. If only there was something we could do to strike back against them. The mud men. I mean. Perhaps one day, an auxiliary yeah, force that. could make battle practice formations. Oh, that would take a leader with gusto, drive, a, a head for it. And his heart being in the right place. It's such a rare thing to have. Yes. Rare indeed. By the way, where did you get he those tattoos? He goes, I do not know what you mean by the tattoos. You don't see the runes on him. <laughs> I thought I... Ar Saw Arxies. I, I, I thought I saw a, a bit of tribal uh, iconography upon your personage. I, I misspoke. I did not mean tattoo. I meant token. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this in Goblin. <laughs> uh huh. He, he, uh, he turns to you and goes. I could show you a thing or two of the tribe's token and iconography. And he gets closer to you. <laughs> um... And he goes, Do you have any idea of who this leader that we are theoretically talking about? As he gets uncomfortably close to you and gets like yeah you know, inches away from your face in a very low conspiratorial tone going any suggestions who might be willing to lead such a force why i think he's standing here don't you Well then, if he's standing here, then perhaps he would like to partake of not just the War Tusk iconography and maybe a couple rituals to 
endear himself to to a bunch of different goblins. Maybe show that he's one of the people. Well, if it's anything like our rituals to regain our magic, well then, I don't see why not. We could teach each other a thing or two. He holds out his hand and goes, it's a deal then. We can have a cultural exchange of sorts. I shake his hand. Okay. I, as you do that, he goes, now I'll have to go get a uh, slag wart. Well, of course. He also needs to, well, finish his induction. Induction, you say? Yes, yes. Well, let us away then. All right. You, you guys come across the Slagwort. Slagwort has uh, a group of like eight, um, what looks like bodyguards who are getting ready to leave the area with him. Well, well, well. Boss, it's good to see you. Hey, he, the slagwort looks over to Kuda. Uh, I thought we were leaving soon for a, a brief hike. It's Kuru, wasn't it? Yeah, got Kuru? <laughs> Kuru. Uh, Go, go. Yeah. Uh, Karu looks at you and goes, uh, maybe ask if uh, Ard would like to come with? Perhaps. If he's not busy researching. Even if he is busy researching, I'm sure he would like to join us. I, uh... Let me go see. And I, I go to find Art. Art? You go back down to the false wall area? Because I'm pretty sure Arg's still down there teaching the lady troll. Mm-hmm. Is she she's uh I already taught the lesson to her, so she's just doing the uh beginner's exercises, right? Yep. Basic mixing, cleaning vials. Yep, and she is remarkably good at this. With your with your guidance, she's picking it up really quickly. Of course, the troll way of doing things is pretty different. Mm. Cleaning vials, you lick them out thoroughly. Dicing, you just gotta get that claw timing just right, you know. Uh-huh. I mean, you got the natural the natural utensils. Why not use those? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, Billsby, you walk in. You see the trolls working on an alchemy bench. Excuse me. Arg. Yes. Yes. Would you uh, be willing to come with me for a walk? No. And why not? Why? It is a way of ingratiating ourselves with the goblin tribe. They wish to show us a ritual. My insight on that. 
Okay. Well, that breaks my streak. That's a six. So. Earn ritual? All right. Who's going? Um, myself. Uh. Slagwort. And then Garu. Okay. Uh, I'll leave the female behind, though. Okay. I will uh, see if Gaiden wishes to go as well. Oh, mm, are you the one who planned this? Well, no. Ask host before inviting other guests. So true, Og. So true. Let us go see what Garu says to one more. A very bad okay. it might be. Okay. As we walk out of the cave, I s signal to the female troll behind uh, Billsby's back to be turn invisible and follow us at a distance. Okay. You guys leave and... Let me see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is invisible. So you guys are going back to back to the group to see if it's all right to bring Gaiden along. Yes. Then I will go find Gaiden if okay. it is okay. He he looks at you and gives you the like the it's not the best idea, but yeah, sure. We can do this. I, I go, I go find Gaiden. Okay. You find Gaiden at his workshop, busy, busy away making goggles. Gaiden. Well, <clears throat> you're here just in time. Oh. Here, oh. take this. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, just hold that tight. Oh, okay. And what did you need? I was wondering <laughs> if you would go with us on a bit of an expedition. <laughs> Can I go? Okay. An expedition. A, a, uh, a cultural exchange with the leader of the War Tusks and Grim Claws. Man, um, I'm a little busy. Uh, I mean, I could probably help if you'd need me, but uh, man, just look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's pretty neat. I got distracted by making this dagger real quick. It's Man, it just has the most beautiful rainbow colors in it. But anyways, yeah, I just have a couple more of these to make. Um, and then, uh, I mean, and then I, then, I, then I gotta go see the chieftain soon. Or, like, not the chieftain, but the chamber. Quartermaster. Quartermaster, yes. <laughs> well... If you are willing, I can have uh, some warriors assist in the uh, transfer of said goods to the quartermaster. Hmm. Yes, once they are done, I could use a nice uh, help in the transport. Right. But f 
for right now, let us away. Let us away. I can away for just a little bit, but we must be quick. All right. <laughs> I think this will be fine. I take off my gloves, apron, and sun goggles. Yes. You take off all of your equipment. <laughs> you you guys go back. They are ready to go. You guys leave. Um, the path is... It's a path that doesn't seem that it should actually be there because you guys go maybe a quarter mile out of camp um, and you turn to like just this real quick corner turn. Um, there's a brief red flash of light and there's a path that leads further down. Um, it's dark, it's cramped, it's it's exceedingly warm, and you guys come out into a opening with a spring. What is this spring? Kuda looks back at you and goes, uh, it's, or, not Kuda, Karu looks back at you and goes, it is... Our cultural exchange. It's why we're here. Hmm. Does the water have uh, healing properties? Of sorts. Arg, you see mm -hmm. um, the water <clears throat> it is... Well, I brought this with me. <laughs> okay. What did you bring with you? I pull out the, uh, the freshly... Um, made rainbow brass tinted um, letter opener that I just made. Okay. Um, and, I, and I present it to them. You you hand it over to them and they're like, uh, he, Karuga looks at it and goes, thank you, Gaiden. It is yes. it is a wonderful piece of well-crafted yeah it's a well-crafted dagger knife yes um Arg, you also see that the water is red like the tattoo like the the markings on Karu yeah occult is in uh okay he's been researching this moment. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, 13. You get the sense that there is something that, like, it resonates with you on, like, a deep part of you, but you're not exactly sure what it is. But you get the sense, like, this is... This isn't right. This is There's something wrong here. It's unnatural. Uh, but uh, Karu goes and uh, fills up one of the like a, a water skin out of the, the spring and says, it will, passes it over to Slagwort, tells Slagwort that as the new chieftain, it's your duty to partake of the spring. And he looks at you, Biddlesby, and goes, would you, because you are the chief of chiefs here... Uh, would you like to also partake of the spring? May I observe first and then partake? Certainly. You watch Slagwort gulp down just this... The whole water skin, and it's a big water skin, like, yeah, maybe a half a gallon. So it's one of my mugs? Yes, but remember, a half a gallon for a fay for one of the people is yeah a lot. That's that's a lot. <laughs> half a gallon for a ten-year-old, basically. Yeah. 
and he's he's gulping it down. And as he gulps it down, Arg, you watch as like runes start to glow on his skin. Uh, you mm. don't notice any effects immediately on Slagwart? As he finishes the water and hands the skin back over to Karu. And he goes... Arg is playing with a handle of his skinning knife, like, considering how long it would take him to skin this new goblin. <laughs> Getting old. Interesting. <laughs> He looks at uh, he looks at you, Biddlesby, and he goes, "Do you want me to gift you the the water of the spring?" Uh... That Do seems it. like Do it. Oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> and I, I I reach a hand for it. He. Fills the skin up, and he hands the skin over to you, Biddlesby. Alrighty. Alright, let's see. Oh. All right, I assume you're drinking it? Yeah. Alright. Like, player is hesitant, but Biddlesby is not. He's, okay. he's gung-ho for it. All right. Uh, the moment it hits your mouth, you feel something wrong. Oh. Immediately. Oh no. The taste is—it's sweet and refreshing, but it is just, just that notch above sweet, where it's like this is too sweet. It—it's too good. It's too much. Yeah. Mmm, sweet water, eh? I... Mmm. Am I able to stop drinking? Yes, you, you can stop. But it tastes really good. Despite it being off and wrong it does taste really good okay <sighs> i don't i don't know i don't know what to do are right, one gulp two gulps how many are you, are you gulping it down or are you are you sipping a little bit? I think I think I get I think I get the first sip in. It's too good. Uh-huh. The next one's a full gulp. Yeah, when you the... fully gulp the next one, the second one it it hits your stomach. And it feels like your your inside, like your your stomach is curdling, like it's curdling in your stomach. Uh. I, okay. That at that point, I think I stop. <laughs> yeah, you start. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, wait. <coughs> Ooh, wait a second. Do you pass it off to to anyone else? I think. Uh. I think I hand it first to Arg. <laughs> Arg, you're given a water skin as he uh, begins to cough. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, yes. Yes. Arg holds it between his finger and thumb. And looks at it, mm -hmm. and looks around the group, and he hands it off to the to the um, to Guru. Mm -hmm. Would not want to hog. He he kind of pushes it back to you. We insist. It's part of the ritual. Why, Ark? You're 
Chief of Trolls. Ark will stay Chief of Trolls, drink or not. And he hands it off. He 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 puts his hands up and goes, This is true. It's just it is cultural exchange. It's ritual. So you will participate in troll ritual? He looks at you and smiles and goes, I will participate in troll ritual. Mm-hmm. Troll ritual of ascension, the chieftain. I am unaware ritual of... Ritual that translates to goblin feast. Do you, you wish to have a feast? Yes. Then the war tusks will see to it that whatever is required for your for your ritual to of ascension to happen, we will make sure it happens. Would you like to participate in ours? And he no. holds the water skin Ar- up. <laughs> Arg thinks you do not understand. The only things that the war tusks would need to contribute is their attendance to the feast. No, we do have a lovely line of guests for the feast. Must be strong enemies. I mean, they're as, they're as strong as they can be. They're goblins of other tribe. Arg will consider... And he holds the the water skin up. Let Arg think about it. Get back to you. Okay. And then he looks over at Gaiden. Would you like to participate? It would be rude not to allow you to also participate, Gaiden. I'm sure we can make you chief of something. Chief of crafts. You make wonderful things. Oh, yeah, I take a gulp. Alright, you you take a gulp. It tastes amazingly sweet. A little too sweet. A little sickly sweet. And the moment it hits your stomach, it's like an Irish car bomb, and it is... It immediately starts to not set well. Hmm. Lovely. And I hand it back to the Gabi. You hand it back. Uh, do you not want to? Do you not want more? Hey, looks at he looks at you, Biddlesby and Gaiden. Do either of you want more? No. I think that is all that we need. It was. Very delicious. What color is the liquid? It looks like regular water to you. Okay. Um, well, are you looking at it now that you've had a drink? Yeah. It's a little bit darker than what you guys seen when you guys first came in. Yeah, you know, like it's underground and it's water underground, so it's already like a dark, murky color. Mm. But it's just... It looks a little bit darker. And, it, and it's, it's glowing red to me, right? To you, it is bright red, like blood red. And it glows <laughs> in the dark. Hmm. Excellent. That's great. It's awesome. Right. <laughs> There's a lot of red happening, and there's red things that I don't like. And I don't like neither. Arg is going to try and snitch a sample while nobody's looking. Uh, make a make a ah what? I would say trickery. Yeah, I would say trickery. Make a trickery. You're doing the sleight of hand thing. Oh yeah. Oh yes. 
back to where I should be. That's a dirty 21. All right, let me see if anybody notices you. They do not. Yeah, they do not notice you. As you... um, I I assume you violet. Well, so... The thing is, Arg naturally carries a, he carries that cauldron. That's his cup, right? Oh yeah. Back when he conquered the other camp, and it's normally full of water, right? Uh-huh. It's got a lid on it to keep the water in. So he basically dumps his water and scoops up the water and caps it. But that's like a cauldron's worth of water. So should I be rolling this at disadvantage? You know what? I I will agree with that. I didn't realize it was a whole cauldron. Like, while it is a cup for you, it is still a cauldron. It is a lot of water. Yeah, yeah. And you are pouring a lot of water out as well. <laughs> still a 16. 13 plus 3. Uh, yep. He, they're so focused on Biddlesby and Gaiden that they don't notice you <clears throat> fill up your yes. cauldron. <laughs> they're trying to peer pressure the elf and the yes. sprite. <laughs> Yes, they are 100% like, come on, guys, just a little bit more. It'll be it'll be okay, just a little bit more. Arg walks up behind him and claps, claps, claps them both on the knowledge. back. Claps them both on the back. Come now, no victory without bravery. A little more won't hurt. Arg saying go for it. What? Mark says, go for it. If. <laughs> Biddlesby wants to ingratiate himself with the goblin and with Arg. He drinks. What's another gulp? What's, what's, another, what's gulp? another gulp? It's what's Roll one it more. E20. I... And Gaiden, are you also going to take another gulp? We're all in this together, right? No, All right, roll me. A, I'm taking me two, oh, three taking more goals. Okay, roll me a d20. Add anything or that it? Uh, let me know what you get. I got a six. So Arg is okay. Arg is um Arg is examining them closely. I got a as five. they drink <laughs> this. So oh. like he they, they're guinea pigs. He, right. He's 100 oh <laughs> sacrificing them to science. Yep. So, uh, you watch as uh, Biddlesby. You can see like the the red, like for like the red line of runes form on him, but it doesn't it doesn't come through like it does on everyone else. So something in Biddlesby is blocking it. It might not be. It might be that he only took one gulp and not multiple. Uh, Gaiden, on the other hand, you see these red with the gulps. <laughs> yep, you see red runes begin to emerge on his skin as well. Oh, cultism. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a that's a five. So <clears throat> Okay, yep, you're you're not able to understand what the what the runes mean on him, but you you see that there are new runes that you've not seen before on Gaiden. Like the the goblins don't have these runes. Oh, now we're all in this together. Let's head back and have a feast. Well, wait. It's time for our cultural exchange. I'm gonna let my magic begin to uh, prick away at the runes and see if I can like feel what they're all about. Um, you don't. You don't see them initially. It'll take a little bit for you to uh, start to see the the runes as well. Okay. It's not an instantaneous effect. It, it takes a little bit of time. It's like a mutagen, essentially. Oh. Fun, fun. Yes. <laughs> with With my 16, what? Nothing happens to you, Biddlesby. Okay. Weirdly enough, everyone else seems to be like, like Gaiden seems to have changed a little bit on like drinking it. Like his his mood seems to be slightly off. Okay. 
Okay. Slagwort seems a little off. Huh. Only Arg and Karu, who did not participate, seem to be the way they were when they first came down here. Huh. Yeah, I know drink anymore. But it's time for our cultural exchange. We must make a quick excursion to the surface. Okay. You guys are going to make an excursion to the surface. Okay, I was not expecting a surface visit. All right. I, I want to go show them the bury the acorn recharge your magic supply. All right. You... That's gonna that's gonna be a little bit of a trek because you gotta go from where you guys are up to the surface. So that's yeah. it's a little bit of a journey. Yeah. In that case, can all three of you make me a D six roll? I got a six. <laughs> of course. I uh, um, I also got a six. <laughs> <laughs> Of everything about that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> All right, so you guys begin your journey to the surface. Everything seems to be going great. Yes, you see. Said... Is like walking alongside Gaiden, like, um, so, are you feeling? That was uh, some ritual back there, huh? Yeah. I, I look away from him and I say, I think I feel fine! And I turn it and then I scream and then I fly off. <laughs> As you begin flying, his... um, your wings feel remarkably strong. Like, you know, like, you can fly, but you feel like you can fly, fly. Uh-huh. Etching mildly moody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you also are a lot more um, dexterous in the air. Oh. Like, your movements are a lot more crisp and clean, and you're able to, like, yeah, roll with things a lot easier. Okay. I like it, I like it. Yeah. But it'll be you, you over here, um, uh, guide and yell at Arg, and then fly off like a bat out of hell. Gaiden, what, what, what are you doing? Oh, as I, I just fly like, past my wink. Yeah. <laughs> I say like, oh, I, as I like see him do all the like tricks and stuff in the air. Yeah, as you see him flutter Probably his wing. More dexterous. Yeah, you see him flutter his wings and there's just a brief red flash. Huh. Flash of you red... Well, you've seen this red flash before. It's a common occurrence. When our when art goes invisible. Goes invisible. Huh. Hmm. Anything interesting, Vittlesby? Just something to note. When you go into your stealthness and him just now <laughs> it's similar mm. Peru looks at you and goes it is um, the gift of the ritual the gift of the ritual you say 
Hmm. In in a while, in another while, I can take you and you can redo the ritual to re up on its effects, and maybe you too will be given a gift. You know, I think I might. And in the back of Biddlesby's brain, he's like, I wish I could create fire like goblins can. <laughs> okay. And I hope that that's the gift. <laughs> Like that, a hundred percent. He's just thinking, like, maybe if I do it, I can get goblin fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you guys make it to the surface. Nothing weird or crazy happens. Everything seems to be wonderful. I find a seed. There are no trees nearby that of the seed that you need. Because you need an acorn, right? I do need an acorn. It's going to take you a while to find one. Go ahead and make me an investigation check. I'll make an investigation check. <laughs> Why, that's a nine. <laughs> You're going to have to range out a little further than what you're supposed to. Hey, Gaiden. Yes? Where was the last acorn you found? Um. Well, it's been a couple years. Well, it hasn't been a couple years. You guys found it whenever you went to Avalon. Oh. It's been a few months, yeah. An acorn? That, that, you guys are in, essentially... Germany, uh, the Black Forest, whereas Avalon was you know, over in essentially Ireland. Mm. Off the coast of Ireland. <laughs> so everybody at home knows that was our session zero of learning how to play DC20. Bum, bum, bum. Um, I explained that to Kaoru and Slagward. You can tell neither of these two have seen the surface. There's a certain level of like awe that that is on their faces. Oh, yes. Come, let us see what the mud men took from us. And two goblins, a troll, and a sprite. And an elf. And an elf. Go on to the forest. <laughs> And another has a yet still hidden troll. Oh, yeah. Yep. yep, yep. Oh, I wonder if she partook. Arg, would you have had her partake? Oh, no, 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 no. Not until we get back to the lab. Okay. I didn't think you would. Controlled conditions. Absolutely. 100%. Okay. All right, then. Um, you guys start exploring the Black Forest looking for... Um, an acorn. An acorn. Um, I would like to uh, make a uh, awareness check. The Arg, being the hunter, starts sniffing around to see if he notices anything. Okay, make an awareness check. The reason I'm doing that is because I bought a new trait that gives me advantage on all scent-based awareness, uh, awareness checks. Nice. Just hey, wanted you to get use advantage it. on that awareness. Because it doesn't really matter. It's still only. F it's still only sixteen. 
So. Um. Yeah. Um. You. Oh no! Wait. Sorry. Sorry. I have a. Um, I have uh, I have a dot in awareness, so that would be eighteen. Okay. Something's off. You you don't smell anything. Like there's nothing around that you can smell, but your your just natural hunter instinct says that there's something off. Arg is going to start. Uh, is going to be um, discreet. Mm -hmm. Oh great, yeah. And that and how it betrays me. That will be a nine on stealth. I assume you're not trying to go invisible. Uh no, I absolutely a hundred percent was. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you go invisible. It's just everybody can see like every every footfall, like every footstep you or every step you take. Your footprints are just. Like you're sinking into mud. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> so it's just like a squelching footprint, a squelching footprint. Squelching footprint. You guys hear Arg's footfalls, like kind of do that like little, yeah. you know, like whenever you're walking outside after it's rained and you can like <clears throat> hear that mm -hmm. of your feet going in the mud. <laughs> and just you just hear that and you can see where Arg's walking. <laughs> Are you trying? Yeah, every so often he coughs or... Are you trying to be sneaky, Arg? What for? Arg assumes that Biddleby, Biddlesby is trying to trick him into revealing his position, so he doesn't respond. Mm -hmm. Alright. Weirdly enough, he's looking right at you, Arg, when he asks. <laughs> yeah, no, he's bluffing. Lucky guess. <laughs> I I let it go for about ten more feet. Uh huh. You just watch him walk. Yeah, you know, sneak. Try and sneak over here. Move over here. You just. Arg, you are where we can see you, right? Not Arg like freezes. See, not like see you, see you, but like your steps. If you're trying to be sneaky, you're not doing a very good job this time. Maybe you should or, have partaken like, in, in front of time. everyone. In front of everyone who's watching, or picks up a gigantic boulder and lobs it away from him. Uh-huh. <laughs> The two goblins pretend not to see you at all. They they look like, nope, I didn't you didn't see you do anything. We're completely surprised. And, and you guys hear Orb. the crashing of Score. the border off in the distance. Orb. Yep. You see a body imprint where Ard kind of like rolls across the ground. Like you guys can't see me. <laughs> Is there yeah, there's just a, like there's a, a roll slick of imprint, mud? and then there's like a yeah. there's a drag where where a troll belly crawled for about ten feet, and then there's this giant imprint where he jumps and like leaves like a, a six inch divot in the ground. And oh yeah, and then you guys hear it. the sound. Of a moo. A moo? A large, like a, like, you know, the big moo. Like that? Yep, a big moo. A big, bassy moo. <laughs> I 
I, I look at Garu and uh, uh, Slagwort. <laughs> they both look at you concerned. <laughs> they're like they're they're seasoned warriors, and they're both like, "What the fuck was that?" Is <laughs> <laughs> the look they give you? They're like, "What was that?" Because <laughs> it sounds big. Yes. Um. Mark has one thought on his mind right now. That sounds like beef. It's got beef, and we're ready to throw down. Do I start seeing the, like, arg trail go towards that sound? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yep. sniffing. I am, I am on my way to lunch meet heaven. Yes, please. I I am trying to find an acorn desperately. <laughs> mm -hmm. as, as you're following Arg's trail, um, the goblins behind you, I assume, Gaiden, you're also following? Yes. Okay. Um, you guys come to, like, the edge of a clearing of trees, and you see a a very large cow. Speaking of cows. A cow large. Do uh, we see uh, any trees that appear to be pen oaks or like oak trees or anything like that? I was getting ready to bring it up. You do see an oak tree as well as the cow. Oh, I love and oak it is, trees. It is like the size of an, uh, what is it called? An auroch? Auroch? However you pronounce it. Okay, alright. Arak. Yeah, it is the the big the bison of Europe. Mm, <laughs> love it. Well. Uh so let's see. Are here. you ready for um, a show? And I turn and look at the two goblin generals. And I just like gesture for for Arg to do stuff. You Arg you... takes off his alchemy kit and puts it down. Takes off his herbalism kit, sets it down. Sets his I, cauldron I... down. Uh huh. You you do see that this thing's got big old horns sticking off the front of it. Yeah. Arg sees beef. Its shoulder height is about five foot, like at the shoulder. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that 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 looks like that looks like breakfast, lunch, and dinner to Arg. So, heck it, yeah. It is a heckin' big boy. It's a heckin' big boy. I I am power bombing that cow right now. Full on running leap. I I'm 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 in this. Well, all right. Let me let me put down some hit points on this bad boy. <laughs> it is just a big cow, so we are going to do that. All right. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Let's uh, the first see. one gets advantage. Yeah. Do do do. Oh, you're gonna have to try hard to do better than that. Yeah, that's what I thought. That is a 24 to attack. That will hit. That is a power bomb slice attack to the neck. Uh, how many above its AC was I? Uh, you got a what to hit? A 22? Uh, 24. 24. 24. Uh, you got... Um, it had an armor class of 12, so you're 12 over. Alright. Uh, five points piercing damage. Alright. You you cut into its Sorry, neck. Sorry, slashing. Yep, you, you cut into its neck, but it is a... Like, you've, you've gotten accustomed to fighting goblins, and this is a little bit tougher meat to, to cut into. It is still standing. Well, then I'm, I'm gonna take my first bite of this hamburger, yes please. Uh, ooh, ish. 
That is a nine. I uh, do not hit that one. I would like to oh. use my reaction to uh, uh, bolster that and uh, give him advantage. Okay. You are bolstered. Yeah. That, oh, whoo! Hello, natural 20. That will be a 25 to hit, sir. All right. And so that, that will hit. That's another that's... five, and he needs to make a physical save DC 15 or become impaired. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. It does not uh, make that. It is impaired. Yeah. Now, quick question. Um, do I get one usage of my move speed without using an action point? Or do I need to use an action point for every time I move? I think you get one use without an action point. Perfect. And I'm going to make two more claw attacks and then flurry of blows for... No, sorry. I'm going to make a claw attack, flurry of blows, and then claw attack so I recover my, my stamina point from flurry of blows. Uh, if I make an attack without doing Flurry of Blows, I get a point of stamina, but if I spend a point of stamina, I don't get that benefit. So, turn order is important on this one. Ah, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's a miss. Alright. And that is a 19 to hit, so that one will hit on the Flurry of Blows. Okay. Uh, and do 4 points of damage. Alright, that is and enough then, to drop it. Alright. And now I'm going to field dress it. Alright, you begin field dressing it. Biddlesby, you give the order for Arg to charge out and attack. Um, you do see the oak tree on the other side of this field. I, um, I begin to approach. Yep. You also notice several dwellings. Dwellings. Yes. Are what they can be described as almost like the gold. houses? Uh, are they... Are they wood? They appear to be wood. Incredulously, I begin to approach the structure. All right. Everybody moves across this open field that a cow was just murdered in. <laughs> As the no, cow Arg is Arg opened is, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Arg's not moving. Arg is Arg's... expertly disassembled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Arg's butchering the cow <laughs> while you guys walk across the field. Um,. You see, like, a big house, a barn-looking thing. They should still be in caves. Mere beasts, we thought them. What is happening? Are you, are you trying to go inside any of the dwellings? I look through a window, if I can. You you peek up through the window? Um, you want me to roll anything? Uh, so, as you, like, get up to the window and you, like, peek through the window, keep in mind, Arg fully visible in the field ripping apart a cow. Yep. <laughs> you, the moment you, like, peek up over the window, lock eyes with something that's about the same size as you. Uh... 
Do I notice elf features? Nope. Is it rounded ear? It is rounded ear. Do I know if it is adult or child? It is not as big as the adults are, so it looks like it's a child. I mesmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to right, sleep. Yes, <laughs> the child seems more locked in fear, and it's not really you lock eyes with him only because he's looking at Arg, and you pop up in between like his view and Arg. Mm. And you can tell, like, there's there's that fear that has kicked in from him watching Arg rip apart a bull. Mm. Understood. So, like, he's looking forward, but, like, he's not, he's not there. Like, his, his body hasn't even given itself the command to like scream <laughs> he is just kind of like shut down like he his mind is out for lunch all right <laughs> i tear off from the there to the oak tree how many acorns can i grab um, well, you're looking for good acorns to grab, huh? Well, give me a investigation. Arg the lower goes, it is, the longer it takes. Arg goes walking into the village, clacking the hooves together a little bit. It's not, it, it's not I, a village. It's just like one... one I say big house, okay. it's not really a big house and like a, a barn. It's someone's so farmstead. He, goes, he, just, mm -hmm. he just he just goes walking forward. Well, their livelihood, but you know. Yeah, we just murdered their meals for the next winter. Oh yeah. Walking forward, <laughs> clacking the hooves together. And I'm actually going to see if I see the kid because I want to do something funny, but I want to make it fair at the same time. Right. Um, just an awareness check, right? Yep, just an awareness. Okay, investigations 21. All right. You find you find the acorns relatively quickly. They're not super hard to, like, come across good acorns to use. I So that's a dirty pen. A dirty tin. You do notice the kid? Because there's no glass in the window to, like, obscure the view, and you can kind of smell him on the wind. Especially the closer Arg you get, it becomes a lot easier to smell um, the faint smell of urine. Arg walks over to the windowsill and sets the ho one of the hooves in front of the kid, and he leans in and says, You saw nothing. Um, the it kid finally away. responds um, by collapsing. <laughs> and um, Arg is going to take one of the bones and crack it open and suck the marrow out and leave it not too far from the door. Like one of the big here. bones. The chupacabra was here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what cow is in, in Spanish, but... The equivalent of Chupacabra. Uh, Vash, I believe. The Vashacabra. <laughs> the cow sucker. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I grab enough oh, sorry, acorns. Sorry, Vaca. Vaca. You grab the acorns? Vashacabra. I, I grab enough acorns for myself. Gaiden. 
and the two goblins. Okay. You're not giving any to Arg? Sorry, no, no. Oh, and of course Arg. Now Arg gets his own. Yeah, Arg gets his own. No, it's it's, uh, Cabra is sheep, so it's Chupavacas. Chupavacas. Cow sucker. Okay, so... um, (laughs) when When I say enough, I mean like enough for three to four rituals oh okay okay you you grab a handful and you are running back yeah we gotta Arc, go we gotta go tree, now you, you grab a couple as well and then uh you guys yeah. start to head back our greed collects his gear on the way yep you collect up your gear you guys are starting to go back. And Ark has got a bag of beef. You do have a whole cow. Um, are you guys going to do the ritual uh, while you guys are still on the surface? Or are you going to make a separate venture up to the surface? We're going to we're gonna definitely do the ritual, but closer to the entrance. Okay. Further yeah. away from this place. <laughs> You guys run back towards the entrance. A um, <sighs> lot of fun, isn't it? The goblins are excited. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, so you guys are gonna start doing your ritual. Yeah. And and I'm like, now this is our ritual. And I hand each of them an acorn. <laughs> You hand, you hand them both an acorn. Gaiden has his acorn. Arg, you have your acorn. Yeah, Arg's Wait. done this before. Yeah. Wait, only two chiefs are getting acorns? Right now, yeah. Okay. I have a handful. I can split. Yeah, okay. I can split. Are we at the proper place? Where are we? Deeper into the Black Forest than what you guys Deep. were at. Okay. All right, um, let's see. Uh, you guys start to do the ritual. And it's when you start to do the ritual um, that um, something exciting happens. Oh, no. As the entire time you guys were being stalked by a... Uh, a group of hunters. Oh. Oh no. So as you're showing the goblins how to do this ritual, and you know, uh, Karu has his his armor on, um, and you know, most of it's just yeah, you know, it's good metal armor and all this. Yeah. Um, you watch as like. Two arrows just hit and ricochet off of his armor. And they don't look like arrows. They look like ballista bolts to you. Or like small spears flying through the air. And then... Do they have metal? Uh, It doesn't look like they have metal. Okay, it's just a sharpened stick. (laughs) Well, it looks like it's stone on the end. You. Arg snaps snaps around with a snarl on his face instantly. Oh, Arg, you get hit because they they got a really good 17 roll. Uh, And you are the biggest target. Uh, (laughs) my, My physical defense is actually 18. Oh, okay. Okay. You well, you still get hit, but instead of it like doing damage, it just kind of like sticks into just like the yeah you know, the muscle and the fat, and it doesn't really do any damage. Well, I mean, you know, besides ticking me off a lot, yeah, but, it it, you know. it it does it hurts a tiny bit, but it doesn't. It's not bad. For me. <laughs> uh, but you you do get stuck with a you know 
a short spear length of an arrow. And then, uh, Gaiden, as you're, like, walking around, like, you're, you're doing your ritual as well, you look up in, in time to, like, well, not in time. As you, like, look up, you see it coming at you, and it, like, slows down a tiny bit as you move out of the way. Hmm. All right. And, and, Biddlesby? With unnatural speed, Gaiden just kind of ducks out of the way of an arrow. I'm starting to regret not finishing my ritual. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we're going to leave it there. And we're going to pick up you guys fighting some mudmen uh, next week. Bum, bum, bum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I figure that's a great place to stop. Is yeah, It's perfect. Right there. So that we have some combat right off the rip next time. Oh, it's perfect, my friend. There was a lot of little, you know, a lot of little subtleties of things going on. I'm... I wasn't anticipating you guys doing some occultism. I argue, I'm really considering... I'm really considering Arg pulling out one of the cow's legs and beating somebody with it right now. I <laughs> really am. Like, beating somebody with a leg of beef? Yeah, that's on my to-do list, for sure. Arg whips the leg around, so it's just... It's like a flail of meat. No, 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 no. I'm a monk. It's a cow nunchuck. <laughs> You're getting lamb chopped. Oh, that's going to be good. No, I, I I'm wasn't thinking about it. I was thinking going about this it. Route. This was, of all, of all the things that I prepared for, this was not on the list of things I prepared for. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, pretty, pretty typical D&D &D session. <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah. of all the directions, I was like, okay, you guys are probably going to go this way, might go this way. This complete left field. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking forward to doing this next week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You don't need to be worrying about having a beef with me. I got all the beef right here. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And we'll know if you have beef. Yeah, oh, yeah. Paddywhacked. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to Midwest Dungeon Delvers, our The Fair Before the Foul series. Next week, we will have intense combat with the Mudmen of the Surface, who seem to be a bit more savvy than what Biddlesby was anticipating. Dun dun dun. Ah, it's gonna be crazy. But, that's for next week. Right now, let's ask these wonderful people what they got going on in their life. Hey, Stillskin, the storyteller, what's up with you, my friend? Uh, not too much, honestly. You know, doing, uh, doing sales stuff and I got some good news from my sister she's been battling cancer for a while but they got her on a new drug they're looking at a two year prognosis so that's good alrighty thoughts and prayers thoughts and prayers Preach. all right Gaiden what you got going on in your life Gaiden? Hmm. <laughs> it's, it's almost Halloween. It is almost Halloween. I know. Yeah, it's, gotta, a, it's literally a, a week. Of, it's a week. Yeah. Next yeah, week, Halloween. Some, I'm coming up for Halloween. I'll be off. I don't know what I'm going to do off for Halloween. So that'll be fun. 
Bum bum bum. Yeah. We'll find out. Alrighty. Corn Steven, our wonderful master of games. Um. I don't really have too much going on at the moment. Uh, I'm just working a lot and uh, all the usual things. Um, I do know I need to work on a couple maps and some stuff for our other game that we play. Mm, yes, the Sunday. Yes, so there might be. I might steal a Wolfie stream, a Wolfie uh, stream on like Saturday to work on some maps Ooh, well tune in definitely so there is that is a potentiality um, beyond that I'm uh, you know, just trying to finish my short, my short story and then uh, you know, making plans to figure out other things that I need to do normal stuff normal adulting you normal know everybody knows adulting Everybody knows, you know, work sucks. We all know. <laughs> That's right. Mm hmm That is right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in once again. And we'll see you tomorrow evening, because I don't, I don't close. So tomorrow evening stream, can't do a morning stream. Tomorrow night stream. We'll see what happens. We'll figure something out together. Probably some more metaphor. Refantasio is probably what's going to happen tomorrow night. But we'll see what happens. Either way, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll see you in the next stream that we have. It was a blessing to have you with us. And I hope you were just as blessed. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Hey. The troll with strength of stone Cave and mud is ancient home Blending ages, milk and honey Folk with brass, the mud men's irony Oh, the tales of night and day Grit and magic, steel and clay Got hidden swords, fiddles be praised Our gods pass in a wild race It's the, the fair before the foul The fair before the foul Sheen, hardened you